So we're going to put the plugs into uh, the crankshaft now. We've got the uh, O-rings that go on. They're, they're pretty heavy O-rings and uh, take a little bit of push to get them on. They get it harder to put them in, but um, what we're going to do is slide this around. We put the, uh, we're putting the O-rings onto the plugs. They're a bit of a pull around. Make sure you get in the groove and then just slide it around like so. Make sure all of the carbon is out of the uh, traps inside the um, crankshaft where the plugs come from. So we've checked all that and we've blown, we've, we've blown out and made sure all of the uh, bits that may be in there are out. So we know that our oil passageways are nice and clean. So we're going to put a little bit of the uh, engine assembly lube on the uh, O-ring, like, like so, and put it in the hole. You can see we've put a quarter bolt into the thread inside the plug, and we're dropping that into the crankshaft. And what we do is we give it a little tap, like so. Now we've got to overcome the rubber over the seat. So what we do is we knock it home like so. And if we can uh, look down the hole, you'll see the groove that we have to get our clip into. You can see way down in there there's a groove and we're going to put the clip in there. So we're going to put our clip in like so. Put it in, and of course we've got to get it into the groove. Like so. Okay. So we're putting the last one in now. You can see I've not had to go get over the rise there, so we're in there. Take the last clip. And our flies. Squeeze it up. Push it in. Make sure it goes in the groove nicely. That one's not in yet. There we go. So we're in the groove. And that's the uh, plugs put in the crankshaft. Go. So we're going to fit the crankshaft in the V8 uh, engine here. And um, just want to point out a few things. Um, the bearings go in and they're a, a squidge type fit. You're going to uh, put the uh, pickup point there, the, the uh, cut out there, and then you're going to push them down and make sure that they're flush on either side. I'm going to go through. We've got a one here that the hole has probably been put in the wrong spot. You can see that that hole there and that hole there are off a bit. Um, the, uh, there's no problem, the, uh, the groove and the oil feed, well, we have plenty of oil in there, but I uh, just wanted to point that out. So we're going to lubricate the bearings with a bit of uh, assembly lube here. Don't want any uh, marring of the bearings because they're dry. We'll put plenty of uh, assembly lube in. There's a number of uh, things to point out. When we put the crankshaft in, because the uh, weights on the crankshaft and this arrangement here, we have to twist the crankshaft as it goes in. Uh, we don't have a stand for our video, so we're just going to have to explain it. So as we drop the crankshaft in, we're going to have to rotate it around so that we can get it in. So we're going to fit the thrust bearings in because uh, it's very hard to do it once the crankshaft's in. So we're going to put a bit of grease on the back, you can see there. And we're just going to put that in there and hopefully they're going to stay as we drop the uh, 
the um, crankshaft in. So we've got the crankshaft in, um, we've made sure the thrusts went in okay and now we're going to uh, put the uh, bearing caps on. You've got the cutout there and the cutout there. The cutouts go to the same side, put a bit of uh, juice on that. When we lower these down we want to keep them dead straight that way they'll go in without beating on them because we don't want to hammer on them and then the bearing fall out and then the bearing get trapped and then it's a mess so that, that one's gone in okay so now we do number four okay so we're going to uh, put in number four again we check that the cutout to the cutout and then we lower it down dead square again and it makes it so much easier and then we just make sure it's home and we'll continue on with the other three oh. so the sender bearing is the one that carries the uh, thrust so we're, we're going to put those in as we go we can't change those because of the location uh, lug so we're going to use a bit of grease just to uh, hold them in place so we just back it up with a bit of grease hopefully that keeps it in place two a bit of fluid Make sure we got it the right way round. Holding the uh, thrusts in as long as we can. Getting it as straight as we can. And drop it in carefully. Okay, that's in. We'll carry on with the other two. Oh. So we're gonna torque the uh, main bearings now. We've got everything in, working. So we'll just go through and make sure that uh, everything's torqued. And then, of course, we're going to make sure that the engine or the crankshaft rotates freely, nice and free. 